Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor and here we're going to learn how to find the maximum and minimum, the max min of a uh, function. So what I mean by that is let's go ahead and type in some functions and I've already got a few here. This is the uh, cubic that we were working with in the previous section and this is a parabola shifted down. So when we go to the uh, graph screen, uh, this is left over from, from the uh, last section but we can hit F4 to regraph it just to be absolutely sure that we're looking at, at uh, everything that I typed in here and we'll see that this cubic will come up and then down and then up and then the quadratic will come down sweeping below because it shifted down eight units and really what we're going to be interested in doing is finding out this is what we call a local maximum and this is what we call a local minimum of this function uh, what this means is it's 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 the maximum point that this function sort of reaches the top of the mountain here, so to speak. And here down here is you know the bottom of the valley, so to speak. We call it um, relative maximum and relative minimum because it's it's relative to the whole function. I mean, this is the maximum value localized here. Of course, the function goes on up to infinity, so really the real maximum is way up here at infinity. Um, and likewise, the function goes down to negative infinity, so the the real the real minimum of this function really goes down to negative infinity. Um, so this is what we call a relative minimum because it sort of gets to that lowest point relatively speaking before it comes back up again the highest point you know, localized here so what we want to do is find these these uh, actual areas and find the XY coordinates of where these guys maximum and a minimum if you know calculus you know how to do that uh, if you know algebra you know it's more of a um, uh, uh, trial and error technique but with a calculator it's really easy all we have to do is go into the math menu and select minimum or maximum so it just depends on what you're trying to find let's go and try to find the minimum the only local minimum that we have is right here so we're going to go and search for this one it's going to ask us for a lower bound than an upper bound so same sort of thing you select the lower bound to the left of uh, where, where that guy is and then we go on the other side of it to some place doesn't really matter where we put our cursor just somewhere on the other side to hit the upper bound it'll think for a second and then it'll come back and it'll tell me here's a minimum alright uh, at X is equal to 0.92624 and Y is equal to this this is the XY coordinate of the exact point that that graph reaches the most minimum value right here in the window that we gave it alright now what if you had two graphs drawn and you wanted to not find the local minimum of this guy but you wanted to find the local minimum of the other graph uh, so you just go in here and hit minimum number three uh, notice that your cursor is automatically on graph number one but you can snap it to graph number two by going down uh, same sort of thing 